Colors in SketchUp can be one of the most time-consuming parts of drawing a kitchen from scratch in SketchUp. You could certainly spend more time in the doors than you would spend drawing the rest of a cabinet. To make this process easier, I've created a special dynamic component. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use it. I'm going to show you two ways you can use this door. First, I'll show you how to use it on an overlay cabinet and then on an inset cabinet with butt doors. First, draw your cabinet box. I'm going to use this one that I already have here. Make sure that your Google Toolbar is turned on. If it isn't, go to View, then to Toolbars, and make sure that Google is checked. Click the Get Models button. In the search area, search for Dynamic Door. It should be the first model that comes up. Download it into your model. You may want to save this model to your collection of models. Please see my 3D Warehouse videos to learn how to do that. This door has adjustable overlay settings. To get these to work properly, we are going to want it to be placed properly on the cabinet. Notice that there's a box around the door that is bigger than the door itself. This box is a guide that we are going to use to place the door. Grab your move tool and then select the lower left hand corner of the guide. Place the door on the lower left hand corner of the cabinet. Next, we're going to size the door to this cabinet. Select the scale tool and then click on the door. Notice that there are only four scale grips. This is a special feature of dynamic components. This keeps you from stretching the door in a way that would make it get deformed. Grab these scale grips and size the door to the edge of the cabinet. As you can see, the door resized itself automatically. No distortion from scaling that you would get if you used a standard door component. You can scale this door to any size that you want. Now you can get under the hood and really tweak this door to be exactly what you want it to be. Make sure that you have the Dynamic Components toolbar turned on. If you don't, you can turn it on just like you turned on the Google bar earlier. Select the door and click the Component Options button. As you can see, there are a lot of options in here. You can change the frame type. Just select which frame you want in the menu and then press Apply and the frame changes. Want a different knob? Select it and press Apply. How about uh, change the dimensions of the door frame? You can do that too. Just change the number and press Apply. You can even change the center panel. There are lots of options to choose from. You can even do a mullion door and set how many lights you want in it. You can also change the reveal or the overlay of the door in the reveal setting. Let's say you want a full overlay door. We can change the reveal to a quarter inch. See how the door got bigger? Okay, well now that you've got the overlay door mastered, I'm going to show you how you can make butt doors on an inset cabinet. We'll start with the same dynamic door and the same cabinet. This time we're going to use the same guide on the bottom left hand corner to place this door on the lower left hand corner inside the face frame. We'll use our scale tool to size it vertically. Since we're going to make this a double door cabinet, I want to make this door half the width of the opening. I can use a simple trick with the scale tool to achieve this. Just select and start moving the horizontal grip. Then, hover along the face frame until you see the midpoint snap. Click on that, and now you have a door that is half the width of the opening without having to do any math. Now you may have noticed that the handle is on the bottom. Since this is a base cabinet, it really should be on the top. We can use another trick to easily flip the door. Right click on it, select flip along, and then select components blue. And you'll see the door flips so the handle is on the top. Now to copy the door to the other side, make sure the door is still selected and select your move tool. Grab the top right corner of the door guide Make sure you're grabbing the guide, not the door itself. Tap and release the control key to get a plus sign next to the move icon. This will create a copy rather than move the door. Place the door inside the face frame in the top right. Right click on the door and select flip along and then select components green. This will flip the door so it's facing correctly. Now, we need to change some settings in these doors to make them look right. 
Instead of doing this one door at a time, we can change both doors at once. Click on the arrow tool and tap and release the control key. This will make a little plus sign next to the arrow and allow you to select both doors at once. Now, in the component options window, change the reveal to 0.125 and press apply. Also, since these doors are butting together, select butt doors and click apply. Once you've turned the setting on, you can actually adjust the gap in between the doors here. Finally, you can use the interact tool to open the doors whenever you want. One last thing to note, if you're actually building doors for your kitchen, you can get the actual size of the door at the bottom of the dialog box. This size takes into account all reveal and butt door gaps to give you the actual calculated size of the door. Once you get comfortable with this component, you'll be able to quickly make doors with it. The really nice thing is that you can change multiple doors at the same time by just selecting which ones you want to change and adjusting the settings in the dialog box.